like to buy that necklace. You know what that necklace was? It was a heart shape, this size white, and it had a red rose in it. Yes, the blessed mother's flower. And I bought that. And then when I woke up and I saw Dominic on the other section, I figured, oh my God, maybe they all left. And so I got up and I walked to the room and there was Dwayne sitting. And I says, it was quarter to four in the morning. And I said, Dwayne, I said, I had such an awful nightmare. And I told him what I told you. And he said, that sure was a nice nightmare. And I says, now you can go and take your break. I says, I won't leave him now. He started walking and I says, Dwayne, wait a while. Let me get a nurse to check him. It was all meant to be. Absolutely. And I said, let me get the nurse to check him so I don't have to leave him at all. So I got the nurse. She come in, she says, would you like me to take that cooling blanket out from under him? And I says, please, he's going to rest so much better. So she says, step out on the hall and I'll do it. So I stepped out on the hall and here comes Marlo. Marlo's the only one that never left the, ho the hospital. I think Don didn't either. But the other three, they rented a hotel the first day, and then they rented a, a dorm at the cottages, I mean cottage, because it was so much cheaper. Because they all stayed there for four days. So here comes Marlo. He says, Mom, I was so tired. And I heard a voice say, you should be with Dad. He said, I was so tired, I was going to go back to sleep. And that voice says, you should be with Dad. He says, so here I am. And just comes the nurse and she says, any other family members? Because this is it. She had just cleaned him. And so Marlo right away goes to get Dom because I went right away, you know, into the room. And Marlo went to get Dom. He said, I'll go get the others. And Dwayne says, no, that's your father. You stay. I will go get him. He drove 85 miles an hour in there. He was, they were back in five minutes. The doors were locked when they went to sleep and they were unlocked for Dwayne to walk in. So we held hands. I have my left hand with Brad's hand and Dawn or, Bra or Marlo. I don't know which. I don't remember. It was such a shock to me. I think Marlo was on the other hand, but I'm not sure. And we held hands and we said, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory be. And exactly at four o'clock to the minute, the line went right straight, he died. This is the gospel truth. So you see, I did live a good life. And I'm not afraid to die. Jesus has granted you a long life. Because of the life you've led. That's I, why. I think so. And I, Maybe I, Jesus I, brought you and Grandpa together because he knew what Grandpa was going to have to be involved in. And maybe the reason why he even lived as long as he has was because of you. If you would have drank and smoked, you would have lived longer because his brother was... 90 when I was invited, Carl was 90. Yeah, but if he didn't have you and he still went to war, he might have not only died over there, or he might have drank himself to death quicker. But I know she, I know the Blessed Mother watched over him. I know that. I have so much faith in that. Because when the, when the nurse came after I went and I said, he passed away, so I don't know what do I need to do. And she says, do you know what day this is? And I said, yes, but I figured day of the week. <laughs> no, I don't even remember. And I says, why? She says, it's the assumption of the Blessed Mother. So she heard my prayers. Oh, absolutely, Grandma. And All of our prayers are heard. And I, I pray to her every night. And I say, I have never 
I'm going to sleep and I'll thank Peter for bringing him home, even to this day. And if she would come with Jesus to take my soul. When Jesus eventually calls you home, you'll be right to the front of the line. Yeah, but you know, I love life so much. Yeah, there's a lot of beauty. This is, the, this is the beautiful world we've been given. There's a lot of love if we make it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was, and as I'm hearing God above, I had never had an argument with Dawn through the 30 years, ever, until she got married. There was such unity. I had never hollered at her, never, never. Never run her down or say you did something so wrong. So help me God. With the first two, that was very strict. There must have been not the peace that I lived with in my in my home. You know? Well, he wasn't the same man after he came back from the war. So he might have been a little more quick to get angry after. But he was very hard with the first two boys. And I really, I should have been smart enough to think that wasn't happening in my house, at my home. And I should have took a stand to that. But once John came, you know, then that was his little princess. <laughs> so, if she sewed a button like this on his shirt, he'd give her five dollars. Really? Yes. And I would sew buttons <laughs> on hers, but, and I never said anything because that's family. Yeah. You know? And, uh, and he was very good to her. That was, my dad was very good to me. Took someone's toys. Yes. To this day, I think that they're. <laughs> yeah, you told me that story. What they brought some other kid's toy home. Honestly, God, I could write a book of my life. You are. Your life is written in the book of life. No, but I mean, I could write a book because I had a wonderful life, and the things that I've done, and the things that I've accomplished. With only an eighth grade. I know. Maybe you should write a book. No, because I would have to tell that I was fighting and selling and making money. And they'd say, did she ever pay taxes on it? <laughs> That's the least of your worries now, Grandma. They ain't going to audit you for 30, 40 years ago. Yes, they would. Seven years. Trust me. With the Democrats in now, they would. If they could get something on me, they'd like yeah. me up. <laughs> they would. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. They're crazy now. Yeah. Crazy. No. This is not going to be the same world no more. Nope. And I, I really, you know, I know that you like to have a lot of fun and you like to go out and do things while you're young, which is so nice. But I think we're going to have a recession. And I'm thinking it'll be around October. See if I'm right. Hopefully you're wrong. No, seriously. So instead of maybe doing things more at home for a little while to see. Put a little in the side for yourself. Well, if there's a recession, huh? the money in the bank isn't safe. None of it? Yeah. If, yeah, if there's a recession or the, the stock market crashes or the economy collapses. Put cash in a, in a bank. Oh, your, your money isn't backed by gold or silver no more. It hasn't been for 30 years. No, but... No, but it's going to guarantee by the bank. No, if the United States government goes bankrupt, those banks go bankrupt, they don't have, they're not going to, how are they going to give you your money if they don't have it? Jesus, and I got all my money tied up in banks. That's why I said, like some people, that's why some people don't trust banks. They, they'll take that money and buy gold or silver, coins, because at least you have it.
Yeah, but then when they drop, if, if they even... Yeah, but it's still always worth something. That's why you're better to buy ammo. Because if it collapses, at least you can protect yourself. <laughs> you know? Would I be better off drawing it out? And what would I do with it? Where would I put it? That's something you'd probably have to talk with your kids about. But if you were going to do something like that, well, I don't I'm know. sure. I know that my kids make. Say, for example, huh? say, for example, you have a million dollars in the bank. I don't have no million. I know, I'm just, this is for an example. The federal government only has to pay you back 200000 250000 Is it two fifty? Two fifty. Okay. So, like, that's just another example, you know, like. So then would I get the two fifty? But if the government doesn't have 250 how are they going to give it to you? You know, it's not like there's a promise note, like well, we'll pay well, you back. The thing is, maybe I should talk to my kids and maybe buy silver. Yeah. That's a possibility, Grandma. I'm serious. Or or gold. Even 100000 Because silver is only, only going to go up because there's yeah. the demand for silver is far greater yeah. than the supply of silver. And now all this electronic cars and all these, these batteries and stuff, they all need silver so the the demand for silver is going to always rise but how much supply there is that's to be determined really you never can go wrong buying precious metals i could take a hundred thousand and now uh, buy silver i have five that's kids, something you so would that could be 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> that would be some savings, yeah. you know, but I, 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 you know, in my trust, I put in grandchildren, not a lot.